Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to a new Let's Play map I'm gonna do... Uh, let's play on. Now, uh, this is just a showcase, this is just a first look into this map, which uh, it's a lie. Uh, it's not the first look, I already had a look of this map, and the map looks, looks stunning. Uh, I believe, from my personal opinion, I'll really true to think so that I'm going to be playing this map <laughs> at least once a day, a couple of times a week. Uh, for my personal satisfaction, doesn't have to be um, uh, uh, on screen. But I really wish I'm going to play a lot of this map because this map, for in my point of view, is a new the West Coast or West Coast from FS17. The map has medium to small size fields map has 160 fields uh, let me read a word or two what uh, our map author which is moose agrar um, m-o-o-s agrar uh, had to say about this map so um this is a contest map from uh, mod contest for fs19 uh, welcome to beautiful bavaria here in southern germany are three little villages ober ellerbach unter ellerbach and Bachen. Bayern. Uh, it's recommended to start a new game with a medium, medium or high difficulty, I will explain this in a moment. Otherwise the money will not suffice to buy enough farmlands. Features. Uh, more than 160 fields and meadows, 7 farms, 4 times dairy farm, 2 of which have their own biogas plants, I will show you this as well. 2 pig farms, 1 sheep farm, also buyable, 1 biogas plant, this one is quite expensive but you have 2 other ones that, it, that they're not so expensive, 2 horse paddocks, 2 field shelters, uh, 1 small machine shed, uh, 2 selling stations for all kinds of grain, beva and raifeisen, uh, new fruit type rye, uh, this is mowable in a penultimate growth stage, that would be next to last, I believe. Uh, the mo uh, more terrain angles, several viable forests, fire brigade, church with sounds, fire brig uh, brigade and church with sounds, uh, clip distance control, sawmill and selling station for wood chips, countless new objects, more than two years of construction, forgotten plants, textures by Eribus. Um, forgotten plants, that would be withered, I believe. Uh, I think they have a different uh, different uh, texture to them. So, so hopefully I'm gonna find uh, a nice uh, a nice withered uh, field. Um, now, uh, let me show you uh, what we're dealing with here. This is how the map looks. This is by no means a small map. Fields are small to medium size, but this is a huge map. This is bigger than West Coast. This is probably 4x map but i'm not an expert let me show you what i what i mean look at the map guys the, so there's 160 fields here and guess what uh the initial initial um text said that you should start on medium or high difficulty why because even if you start as a new farmer which i did right now you don't have anything you don't have any uh, you don't own any fields you don't have anything you have to buy everything on your own so currently we have hundred thousand euros and we have no means to buy well we have means to buy fields and we have equipment and this will be extremely hard and even the mod author didn't expect you to play like this so new player it's it's really really hard now what uh, what this um, what this means uh, if you start at easy or hard you will get the money and not get the buildings well guess what you don't get buildings anyway here even even a new farmer because this is a new farmer and no lands no buildings nothing uh, cell points, it's extremely basic the way I love it. I love it. You don't have too many cell points. You don't have to drive around just to earn a couple of bucks more. You have two cell points. They are conveniently located in the, in, in, in the map. So uh, I can show you this. Uh, one of them is here, uh, covering the north side of the of the map. And Raiffeisen is uh, a little bit more south, covering this area here. So... Um, uh, for my point of view, this is really perfect. This is this is more than enough. So I want to explain that this this map was initially intended to be for FS17. Not sure if it was released back then, but um, uh, now it's in FS19, and altogether it it was spent over two years uh, building or constructing or making this map. The map is stunning. The mapping is beautiful. This is German countryside. I would say it's not too close to the Alps because I don't see any high mountains. There are some hills there. Uh, so I would say it's central to northern Bavaria. Uh, it's imaginary uh, uh, town. 
uh, it's uh, you have three villages called Ober Ellerbach, Unter Ellerbach, and Bayern. Uh, Ober El uh, upper or lower Ellerbach and the Bayern. Um, I will go through those towns with you you're gonna see them all now let's check out what's the starting equipment if you want to start from the ground up if you want to use whatever model left it here so please guys start with at least medium difficulty i will start again with the medium difficulty just to show you just to have a little bit more money to show you how we can start this map Now, exactly where we left off last time, this is now Farm Manager. Farm Manager means, uh, I, I put a little bit faster time, but we're still going to enjoy a lot of this beautiful morning. I intentionally didn't start in Seasons mode, so you can enjoy all the bloom of the flowers and the grass and the trees, uh, so you can enjoy the map fully. Now, my suggestion, and I'm not sure if this is a suggestion from a map author, but my suggestion is to start with um, uh, with where your initial uh, starting fleet is. So let's go through the starting fleet first. So this is what your uh, map author um, uh, suggests for you to start with, or he let you have this in the beginning. So we have T5 100, Profi CVT Steyr, New Holland Steyr, New Holland Harvester, a uh, new lizard pickup, uh, two trailers, that's quite generous, um, header, cultivator, uh, slurry spreader, uh, mower, tether, windrower, uh, grass pickup, a baler, food mixer, leveler, front loader, and couple of front loader attaches, silage cutter, bale handler, universal bucket, manure fork. You also have, you also start with a straw spreader and a straw shredder and a header. Couple of weights and a whole load of like eight, I believe it's eight altogether like eight pressure washers uh, this is what you start with of course feel free to sell whatever you want uh, you feel free to, to, to deal with the map however you want but map has a lot of interactions that you can do so for example you can open this and now I'm not really sure if I can master this but this upper part opens as well probably have to move from the trigger or trigger is triggered from this side Yes, one is triggered on one side of the door, the other is triggered from the other side of the door. Okay, so now this one. Hopefully this doesn't close the door, of course it does. So let's see if I can turn on this one. So this is a fan control. Okay. Here we go. Uh, fan control to keep uh, uh, your cow area nice and fresh. And this side as well has here we go. Uh, netting lifted, so you're gonna have more air in the area, in the cow area. Now, what I found out with this one. Okay, open sesame. No, it won't. Oh, sorry, I was I was pressing the light button here, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have a struggle with these doors. These doors hate me. Uh, here we go. I'll just get out of here. One should be on one side, the other one should be on the other side. Or not. And there we go, light. Fully working lights. Of course, uh, most of the doors are openable. I'm going to use these ones to exit. Um, probably. Uh, here we go. Let's use this one. Oh, cow back scratcher for full enjoyment of our cows. Uh, there are a couple of play, uh, clamps in this farm. I'm going to show you now what you uh, what's the deal with this. So technically you have zero pastures, zero um, cow sheds, zero uh, uh, pens, nothing. You have nothing. But you get them when you buy the field. So for example, let's go in this area here. Uh, I'm going to purchase this land. By the way, guys, if you purchase the lands once, you cannot sell it. Uh, so choose well what you wanna what you wanna have. So with this one, you're gonna get this field as well. Now this field here is actual pasture where your cars cows are gonna be. So if we buy cows here, let me show you how this works. So if we go here, purchase the land, 
uh, press space. It's all look, uh, this land costs only 252,000. If you buy this land for 250,000, you will get fully working BGA. But I just want to show you this. So, this is your land now. You own this. Uh, second thing, if we go and purchase a couple of cows, so let's go with uh, brown cows here. From there, you go. This is the cow. Uh, area where the cows are you will have interactive cows here as well just let me see if they're gonna show up if i buy a little bit more they show up here as well in this area uh they, they walk around they don't walk around in the street they just appear here from time to time so technically this is your pasture and that's your cow shed uh, let me show you about the biogas plant. If you buy this area, you get fully functioning biogas plant, which is here. So you can sell your excess or excess uh, silage, or if you want to create silage only for gas, uh, for biogas plant. Now, with this, what we purchased now, you don't have any fields. You still have to purchase your fields. It's up to you which fields you want to purchase. Uh, see, in the same way, if you purchase this area here, it costs 152,000. This is your pig farm, one of the pig farms. And I can show you here on the map, uh, you can see here, but this is cow pasture. We have uh, Hühner wolf. That's, uh, uh, well, let's call it chicken enclosure. And just across the street here, this is a pig farm. I wanna jump to the neighbor's yard next to his pool or a lake. And here we go. This is fully functioning uh pig farm let me show you what we have here this is some equipment storage i believe actually that's also for little piggies and you can you can store your equipment if you wish but uh okay this one is not openable uh and here behind if we go on this side okay i'm running everywhere now here we go this is your, <laughs> I think you can open all of those. Yes, every single one of those doors is movable and you can separate them. Actually, this is not bad. So if you wish to let the, the piggies go to have a little bit more room, you can do so if you wish. Uh, so this is part of the pig enclosure. And let's see here. If we buy this area, lands, this one, purchase. Yes, let me show you how it looks. Here, this is the shed that you can use for your vehicle storage. This is your slurry pit. Manure pit can be emptied here. I have to tell you that I'm not really sure where the manure spawns initially. This is where your piggies spend their time outside. So all of these doors are free to be open if you want to let them out. Anyway, uh, on the map, it appears two pig farms, which are, well, your two pig farms. And you get another chicken. Version. Right. So this is about uh, how the map works. You have to buy everything that you want to have, everything that you need. You have to purchase from the get-go. So don't start as a new farmer. Uh, it's not meant to be like that. You get a secondary garage here because we have one garage there uh, when we purchase that one. And here you can buy your chickens. Let's see here. Let's put a couple of brown chickens, a couple of white chickens. And uh, rooster. And they're gonna be running all over the yard. Anyway, um, this is how the map looks. And now let's have a tour around the map. Let's take a drive through the map and see. Oh, technically, this is our house, right? This is a nice house. We even have a pool here. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, swimming in our workloads, it's not really nice. Um, let's take a tractor and dri uh, drive around the map for a bit. So, Steyer. map is absolutely beautiful and stunning it has narrow roads it has well it doesn't have really wide roads i wanted to say that they have wide roads as well now let's go south first and check out the southern area of the map first i'm using my uh, steer uh, my keyboard and mouse for steering and that's really really bad look at these details guys this is something that you would find in modern 
uh, German villages, not only in German, everywhere around the world. But the detail is, is really beautiful. Fields vary. So you have fields like this, for example, which are not square. So like field number 16 and hold this area here. It's not perfectly square, but if you like your square fields for your potatoes and sugar beets, you know, if you need a lot of uh, turn turnaround time, uh, a lot of uh, turn turnaround space for your harvesters, you can, uh, of course, enjoy your, indulge yourselves in uh, uh, a large variety of square fields as well. The biggest fields you can find on the map, let me show you this as well, would be fields like 78, that's 151,000. That is not really that expensive, so you can scale your growth. You can buy multiple small fields and you can combine them. Most of the fields can be combined even with little to no effort. Uh, the, some of, Most of them don't even have trees between them. Sometimes it's only a road, sometimes it's only a grass. Uh, a little slither of grass. Uh, the most expensive field, as far as I know, is 158, 158,000. Uh, not counting the wooded, the forested areas. Forested areas are quite expensive, but you get a high turnaround if you want to do some forestry. Initially, I said I'm not going to do any forestry here, but that may change. Now, look at the area like this unmarked field here. Now, you want to guess what that is? That's your horse paddocks. You have several of those around the map as well. So let me see if we can find it. This is the second, I want to show you this. This is the second dairy farm that has BGA adjacent, but you have to purchase BGA, BGA individually. So if you purchase this map like this, you will not own the BGA. But if you buy the BGA as well, you will have BGA plant here. Let me quickly jump here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's go. Oh, this is really nice awkward spawn point here. I didn't even notice this one before. Well, we're gonna have to spend the rest of our lives behind these. No. Now, this is your adjacent BGA uh, biogast next to the other dairy farm that you have. So let me show you how it looks like. Your dairy cow pasture and enclosure is here. As you can see, there's some grass, grass areas around the farm for your cows. A lot of places for your machinery. And of course, slurry and uh, digestate pits and so on. Now, let's go back to uh, taking a look at the map here. I'm just gonna do backup here. Hopefully not block a lot of traffic. And let's go this direction here. Right, so uh, look at the details on the map map is just stunning and beautiful i love it uh initially i still need to decide uh how to start the map which fields to buy you don't want to buy fields too close to your farm because i don't know how realistic that would be but it's, there's a lot of nice fields that are really convenient uh so you can enjoy them now this is <laughs> this is a dead end i believe but look how secluded areas are around this map so technically this is this is a grass field within a forest. I like this one. I think I'm going to purchase that one in the game. It shouldn't be too expensive. And end of the map. And it's hidden. It's beautifully hidden. You can't even see where the edge of the map is. You can't even uh, go and check it out. It's this is this is what I'm talking about when I'm telling you guys that some some people, some others just have natural think to their uh, ingenuity and uh, how they build these maps absolutely beautiful i love it uh the end of the map is hidden it gets less and less interesting towards the end of the map end of the terrain and just suddenly it disappears you don't even want to go there you see that it goes through the forest you know forestry is not one of the most favorite one uh the, the most favorite thing to do look at this beautiful field <laughs> there's even a little boat here i never and I, I haven't seen this area ever before this is so beautiful. Look at this uniquely shaped field. Look how narrow and long it is. It's it's fenced off. I think this map is just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, let's take a ride around the map and let's see some of the, the features, some of the fields, how the fields look like, and uh, some other stuff concerning this map. Now, let's see if we can get some other way to go about this place. 
I really wish, I really wish this is not gonna change. I really wish to end my FS19 career until FS21 comes along with this map. I hope that there's gonna be a lot of improvements. I hope there's gonna be many, many more better maps than this one. But uh, I, I'm, I would be satisfied if it, if it uh, was only this map. Okay, uh, so they said something about... Okay, yeah, so this is the sawmill, right? Uh, you don't want to interact. This is a sawmill and you can sell your um, stuff here. Was this Is this for wood chips, I believe? I believe this is a wood chip area. Not for personnel, not for no, un unemployed, the people who are not employed. Not for personal use. There we go. Okay, let's try to catch. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, and the traffic. Look, guys, it's not. <laughs> I just wanted to say it's not bumping like crazy into me, but uh, unfortunately, it is. So this is uh, Ober Ellerbach. That means Upper Ellerbach. The village is that the village where we started. Yes, well, this is the village where we start. This is uh, Ober Ellerbach. Uh, Unter Ellerbach would be probably this one here where we where our farm is. But let's take our drive around. Fields are, like I said, small to medium size. Well, I think the medium size will be defined of the crop you have. It's definitely going to be medium size if you put sugar beets in it or potatoes that take a long time to harvest. The profits are really nice. There we go. This is Raiffeisen, one of the cell points. Where I come from, there's a bank called Raiffeisen as well. They have the same logo. And uh, unfortunately, they don't buy crops. They only take your money. <laughs> For safekeeping, that is. Right, so we have a potato field on the right, corn field on the left. I'm actually really happy that I didn't use... Uh, seasons mode in demonstration on the first look of this map because this changes everything spring late spring and summer is the most beautiful time of the year and you can see all the crops blooming all the trees and the forests and the grass fields blooming and here we go we have uh, some flowers ready to harvest not really blooming so much is it Uh, here we have another cell point. That would be the Vapa Bayern or something. Let's see what this one is called. It's all the way on the northwest part of Baya uh, Baiva Agrar. Baiva Agrar. Yeah, Baiva. There you go. It's uh, on the map there, on the on the building there. Okay, let's take a tour around this little forested area here on the right hand side. This looks... Look at the detail on this one, guys. Look at this. Old car abandoned here. Trabant or something. <laughs> Old chair. For the local workers who work in this forest, probably. Yeah, this looks like a warehouse. And it has no purpose. It's just there for the looks of it. For, the, for, for your entertainment. It just looks stunning details it's it, it's so tasteful the map is realistic and tasteful that's what i would say trash laying around yeah i saw even the recycle bins being uh, um, badly managed there was trash around the recycling bins as well I, inappropriate trash in a way like too large or something that doesn't belong in the recycling yard but uh, hopefully we're gonna get to it as well, well let's take a circle around uh, around this area Okay, so this is one of the bigger fields. Is that the, the one? Yeah, I believe that's the 25 that I said that it's one of the bigger fields. But look at this, guys. If you buy this field and if you wish to expand it, the biggest field on the map, expand it with one of the medium size fields for this map. Not really medium size. Well, maybe it is a medium size. You can co connect it, combine it easily. Easily. No sweat. Um. Yeah, let's go through the center of the map and then we'll take a left turn. Most of the stuff we're gonna see on the left-hand side is forest and uh, fields, which is so a lot of. Now let's see 
uh, this area here. Right, so this is your shop area. Shop is kind of small, I have to tell you this. Let me demonstrate as well. So whatever you buy, it's going to be spawned here on the other side. And also, it's going to be spawned in this direction here. So technically, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to connect it. So let me see, let me show you what I mean. You wouldn't be buying a really large equipment here, but just for the sake of it, let's see if one of these bigger trailers. So let's say cramp this one. See what I mean? It's gonna be really hard for you to squeeze in here, but still it's not impossible. You can just have to wiggle it around, angle it a bit, and you're not, not gonna have any not gonna have any issues uh, dealing with that. Uh, those are the things, the little things I saw uh, or or noticed about this map. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna continue doing a tour of the map actually i'm gonna go and slowly go back to our initial start point or at least to the farm that we just bought another big sunflower field on the right hand side here we have a grass field here we don't own it so we can drive on it uh, this is one of the really really nice areas that i noticed around the map and i really find really cute so let me show you this there's a canal here uh, defining re uh, ends of these fields here. They're quite small and quite affordable to buy. But if you buy several of those, let's say one, two, three of those fields, you can easily connect them into one big field. And look at this this one here. It actually has a little... And oh, ah, there we go. It has a little <laughs> water patch here. Not sure how this is going to affect your uh, driving and your uh, harvesting. Is it going to ruin your crops or not? But you have this one as well. So heads up on that. Uh, you can cross your... We probably should have used this one instead of driving over other people's fields. So technically you can uh, connect those three fields with ease and have one uh, decent sized field instead of those three small fields. This is, this is something that I might consider doing in my let's plays. Now let's slowly finish off this because we are closing into 21 minutes of this episode and that's a quite long time for our first look. Well, maybe not, but still it's a really beautiful map and uh, definitely I, hopefully I'm going to be forgiven for this. Okay, so um, let's go back. If memory serves me well, I missed the turn or did I? Yes, I did. I think this is uh, this is Ober Ellerbach. This is Upper Ellerbach. Now the lower one would be. We're gonna try to go to our. Farm, I believe it's somewhere here on the left. This road. This is the road we took when we uh, walked around the farm. Okay, so I believe this looks like another farm. No, this is animal purchase point. Yes, this is animal purchase point on the right. A little forested area. I'm not sure if you can buy this. Let's check if we can buy this area and uh, cut this forest down. No, and this is this is the beautiful part of this map. You have these areas that are meant to be left alone, forested, like this little house that I told you the workers stopped there. You cannot buy that. You can buy the adjacent forest area, forested area, but not this one. There are huge patches of forested area, well, medium-sized patches of forested area if you want to do some forestry, but uh, some of them you can't buy and you can't cut trees on them. Okay, let's see where we can cut across to our farm. Yes, here we go. So this is one of the fields. This is one of the fields that are adjacent to our farm that we just purchased. Let me show you what I mean. So there are three fields. This is not grass field, even though it looks like a grass field. So if we, it's actually arable, we have two grass fields here. So if we buy, let's say this field. Now, technically we're not illegal on this field. And crop destruction destructing the crops not really and also you can buy this field and you have access to these fields across the road because you own this uh, grassland here so if you wish you can go there uh, a lot of fields you have here are not wired off they are just separate from 
uh, from other fields. They're separated by, well, nothing sometimes. Sometimes a little bit of bushy grounds. Sometimes there's a tree or two. But that's about it. Most of the fields are not even gated off or fenced off. So technically here, we can just enter our farm and voila, we're back at our farm where we started. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I really, really like this map. I really enjoy it. It's a really beautiful map. These things I tried. They're not <laughs> interactable. You cannot throw them on your uh, silo pit. Uh, beautiful. Map is beautiful. Now, let's see if cows found their way into our... No, unfortunately, I don't see any cows in there. I want to show you the recycle bin as well, uh, where it was thrown away. Look, look at the details on the houses. Some of the farms look a little bit too clean, but most of them look perfect, look really nice. So here is the recycle area, I recycle green islands, or I don't know how it's called. Green glass, brown glass, and uh, dozen shrot. Shrot is a trash or a waste, and dozen, dozen is the, these are, this is do doses. So this should be inside, this shouldn't be here, and this is for just regular trash. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, Elerbo, Elerbo. <laughs> I hope, I really hope you enjoy this map. I really hope you're gonna uh, play this ma uh, map. Elerbo, Elerbach, 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 sorry about that. Here we go. It's Ober Elerbach, and we are in Bahern, Bahern is the area Bayern, I think, would be powerful pronunciation. Uh, but anyway, this is where we are. Guys, I hope you like this map. I hope you enjoy this map. Uh, press the thumbs up button if you like the uh, first look. If you didn't leave a comment in the comment section, give me any suggestions you have. Uh, subscribe, notification bell, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.